Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are testing the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in Star Wars Outlaws and we have the Zotac Twin Edge OC model of the card and we have the GDDR6 variant and here are the specs of the GPU. We have GDDR6 as I said Hynix memory, we have 8GB of VRAM and we are on the latest NVIDIA driver 560.94 which is the game ready driver for Black Myth Yukong and Star Wars Outlaws. We have resizal bar also turned on inside BIOS. Over here in task manager we have the Intel Core i7 13700KF CPU and we have 64GB of DDR5 CL36 6000MHz memory and finally for MSI after burner everything is set to stock settings and I have not changed anything so let's jump into the game and check out the frame rates. Alright guys I'm inside the menu of the game we are starting it off with 1080p resolution using TAA first and I'm using the medium quality preset as you can see these are the settings and you cannot turn off ray tracing in this game whatsoever and it also supports direct lighting uh, which I'm not gonna test for a 3060 Ti that is insane. So let's look at the frame rates and we are touching 60 over here Let's get on our bike and quickly explore a little bit There's some fight going on over here And this is the basically the first planet you land on at the start of the game I don't I I, I don't know how to control this bike. It's awful. Where are they? Are they our teammates? Yeah, they are the bike syndicate, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, we helped them. We are working for the syndicate, right? Yeah. Okay, so we are averaging at 60 FPS over here. What? I'm fine. That was a really? delayed fall damage. And it's not that smooth to be honest. You can tell by the frame time graph going up and down, creating small tiny plateaus. But the landscape in this game looks really good. And as I've been saying before that the grass, the plants and even the trees in this game, they look really horrible when moving, when hit by the wind, especially right now. Okay, up next, I'm going to keep it to TAA. I'm going to use the high preset this time. These are the settings. And with high preset, the image of the distance, especially up there on those hills, those textures, they look really good. And that's the problem in low and medium that there is a lot of pop-ins you will notice. I'm not going to test a low on this 1080p though. But right now, we are getting 45-ish FPS. Wait, these are enemies? I was not aware they are enemies. I think I'm gonna die guys. Oh that lag though. Ah <laughs> we died. Yeah it's very laggy. Not smooth at all. They are under attack by whom? They were under attack by me just now. Okay, they are fighting the robots. In the meantime, I'm gonna do my business. The robots, you can only take them out with headshots. That's what I think. Uh, we're getting 49 FPS average. It's, it is basically unplayable. 3060 Ti cannot max out this game, even at 1080p, which is sad. Not even max out, not even play at medium to high settings at, with 60 FPS. So I'm staying at high preset again, 
but I'm changing it to DLSS quality this time. And the game has both upscaler mode support, fixed and bias. Bias basically uh, tries to output at 4K resolution, which just uh, gives you less FPS overall. And fixed is just the DLSS we know and we have been using. So with DLSS quality enabled, we are crossing that 60 FPS mark, but it's very bloody. The game becomes very, very bloody. DLSS implementation is not good in this game. I'm not sure which side to take on because they're not interested on me. But I'm gonna shoot them anyway. And now they're shooting me. I helped them. That is insane. That was an enemy too, I think. Yeah, we helped the villagers over here. So we're averaging at 67 frames per second now. We Let's pull our bike. My awful bike. I think a night time is about to come. So the game has both day and night cycle, which is also amazing. The landscapes in this game really look good. I mean, at least on this planet. So we are crossing 17 gigs of v, uh, RAM usage. And VRAM is... I think it's maxed out at this point. Very, very blurry. The tree looks even horrible with DLSS enabled. Lots of trees here. And yeah, the water reflection. When you enable DLSS, the reflection on the water just becomes crap. So this game also supports FSR 3 frame generation, which I'm going to use now with FSR set to quality. And we are sticking to the high graphics preset as well. Wow, we're getting 100 plus FPS now. And now the trees and leaves, everything, the grass, plants, they look miserable. <laughs> but at least you can play the game if you want. And it's very smooth, I should say. It feels like I'm playing at 80 frames per second. It's very, very smooth. No delay whatsoever when I'm moving my mouse. Very smooth. But the graphics looks terrible. And we are getting 120 plus FPS right now. 117 average. Let's pull our bike quickly and roam, out, roam a little bit with these settings. Using frame gen increases our uh, VRAM usage but obviously we don't have more than 8 gigs so there's not much to utilize I think uh, all the textures are being uh, are being sent to uh, oh no oh no all the textures are being pushed to the RAM And there was someone behind me also. Okay, so just to improve the quality a little bit of the image, I am using ultra quality FSR3 with the high preset. And this time we're gonna get slightly lower FPS, but I think it should look a little bit better. The visuals. I don't know how to stop that. I press control for brakes and it does not work. What do you want? What do you want from me? Monster? There's another one. Throw spikes at you. So yeah, 
this also feels nice but slightly more i can feel the delay a little bit more than the previous settings uh, it looks slightly better also okay guys i'm switching to dlss quality now and when you're using dlss in this game do not use ray reconstruction it will eat up a lot of fps from you a lot of performance hit you're gonna get and we are switching to ultra preset and these are the settings and i can already feel the lag in the menu only yeah we are not getting 60. it did go there for a second and it dropped down again so yeah we are getting close to 50 fps this is the ultra dlss quality and I wouldn't recommend you playing like this because the frame time is very high and it's not a, not a smooth experience. The frame time is going up and down. Yeah, look at that. Just look at that when I'm moving around my mouse. So yeah, it's basically unplayable. Nice bike he has. So I have switched to 1440p resolution now and I'm using TAA and we are using the low quality preset. These are the settings and we don't have RTX DI on. We are getting uh, 40 to 50. And it looks much better playing at 1440p obviously. I keep saying on my every video that if you have a 1080p panel, use DSR or DLDSR. Uh, to make it a 1440p monitor and uh, it will look a lot better with the same FPS and same settings it will look, look a lot better I mean you have to use DLSS to get the same FPS obviously and let's quickly look at the water and the grass and everything still looks bad and reflection when not using upscalers they look much better but as soon as i will turn on dlss it's gonna be crap so as you can see it looks much much better now and one percent lows are pretty good in this game though it doesn't stutter much so i have enabled some quality dlss on the low preset let's have a look now and we still cannot get 60 fps that is shocking though so now the reflections they look horrible i mean worse worse than before but it's still better because it's at 1440p right now at 1080p it was miserable And we cannot achieve 60 FPS sadly when using these settings on the lowest setting. In order to crouch in this game, I have to stop running. And there is no sprinting, it is always sprinting. I mean, normal running is basically sprinting in this game. Not sure if there is an option. Get him next. No. I'm wanted. Help me, Nix. Where are you? You are very late there, buddy. Okay, they're all coming for me. I'm gonna quickly get up. They might throw a grenade, though. They did, didn't really notice me, though. They don't know I'm here, which is good. I'm still on the low preset and I have enabled some FSR 3 frame generation and set the quality to quality, of course. And we are using low preset. And let's see how much FSR 3 can help us. Let's take these uh, troopers out quietly. Nix, attack. Come on. You're not authorized. Nice one. And I, I got spotted. Getting 100 FPS. Attention. Get him, Nix. 
It's not that bad though. Thanks, buddy. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it's feeling pretty good in terms of the latency with frame gen. Okay, so we're getting 100 FPS average and frame time. I mean, the input delay is uh, not noticeable at all. There is almost nil. Let's look at the water real quick. Yeah, it looks miserable, the reflection. The lighting just changed suddenly. Yeah, reflections, they look horrible. But at least you can play the game. So I'm also gonna test the medium preset using FSR 3 quality and frame generation. As you can see, they are turned on. And let's see how much the input area. delay is in this case. Um, looks fine for now. Getting 90 FPS too. Let's find some action combat. Look at that ship landing. Probably we'll have some some people to fight over here. Let's quickly get off. Is anyone gonna come out of this ship? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, someone's coming up. We got to go further we have of a dangerous criminal near your location. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of them. Yeah, there's not much input delay though as of now. I think I'm gonna die. One bullet from them is hitting me hard. Okay guys, now I have switched to 4K resolution and we are using DLSS quality without any ray reconstruction. Don't use ray reconstruction, it will drop your frame rate by a lot and we are using the low graphics preset. And this is not good. Of course, don't expect uh, a 3060 Ti to be able to run this game at 4K. Don't expect it to run any game, any modern game, run at 4K. And her hair looks really bad as well. Okay, the trees and uh, the uh, grass look slightly better at 4K, but it is, they are still awful. Even though we are on low. And the frame time is somewhat smooth, I would say. But I think when we uh, encounter it, some action, it's gonna go up and down. The water in this game is really demanding. Okay, finally I have enabled FSR 3 frame gen using quality mode and we are using the low preset. Obviously you cannot increase it anymore at 4K because it's already very much unplayable. Look at this, this, uh, this animal. Very cute. Ooh, boy. How you doing, big guy? Everything's fine, buddy. These are some nice animals. And we are getting above 50 FPS. But the input delay is massive. And it's easily noticeable. So I would not be playing like this. Even with the controller, you will be able to notice this. Okay, now I'm switching it to DLSS performance mode and no, there is no ultra performance DLSS in this game. The maximum, I mean the minimum you can go down is performance and I'm still using the low preset. Just to see how much maximum we can get at 4K using this GPU. And performance DLSS looks horrible. It's probably looking worse than 1080p, honestly. And we still cannot achieve even 50 FPS. As I have been saying, don't expect 3060 Ti to run this game at 4K or any modern titles. 
but still if you have a 4k monitor this is what you can do in order to run it i think you are i think you are better off using fsr3 frame gen instead of this so that will be it for this video guys do leave a like and subscribe if you are new and do let me know how much you're getting with your 3060 ti or whatever gpu and cpu you have i would love to read them uh, in the comments down below and i'll see you guys on the next one till then take care and bye bye